Your marriage should have within it a secret and protected space, open to you alone. Imagine it to be a walled garden, entered by a door to which only you hold the key. Within this garden, you will cease to be a mother, a father, employee, homemaker, or any of the other roles that you fulfill in a daily life. Here you can be yourselves, two people who love each other. Here you can concentrate on one another's needs. So take each other's hands and go forth to your garden. The time that you spend together is not wasted, but invested. Invested in your future and nurture of your love. welcome you all here on this wonderful occasion. The marriage service between Gemma Louise Payne and Daniel Robert Harris. So in the presence of God and before this congregation, Daniel and Gemma have given their consent. They've made their marriage vows to each other they declared their marriage with the joining of hands by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. You may kiss your bride and kiss your groom. Moving on to my lovely wife. You're absolutely fantastic. You're amazing. I love you to bits. Yeah, I can't imagine my life without you right now. I'm looking forward to the next chapter of our life together. I'd like to raise a toast to my beautiful wife. Gemma. To Gemma. It's not looking for perfection in each other, it's cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding and a sense of humour. It's having the capacity to forgive and forget. It's giving each other the atmosphere where you can grow. 
It's finding the room for the thing in the spirit. It's a common search for the good and the beautiful. It's giving each other the atmosphere where you can grow. It is not only marrying the right partner, but it's being the right partner.